So it comes completely packed, it looks like completely new. Really, really to put this on the engine because it looks perfect. So, one thing then this crankshaft doesn't have is the gear then goes on the back the gear then transfers the movement to the other gears this one doesn't come with it as you can see there is a gear over here this is the rear of the crankshaft the one that goes to the flywheel it's, it does not come with it so you have to remove it from the old crankshaft it is this one right here as you can see this is the one that you have to remove from the crankshaft this is the rear of the old crankshaft i got it all grabbed with uh, plastic right now because it is raining all over here so i don't want it to get all rusted otherwise they won't accept it um but this one is easy to remove all you have to do is to grab a rubber hammer and and hit it it's not hard to remove it just with a rubber hammer just hit it and it will come out easily with no problems it is not that hard to remove it because there is no rust over here that's the good thing and also it doesn't have any pressure or anything under pressure this is the only guiding it has and the bolts over here are the same bolts from the flywheel so the flywheel bolts are the ones that hold this one on place um, that's right you don't need to use any extractor or something to remove it all you need is a rubber hammer to remove it but if for any reason you are not able to remove it you can always get a new one will be easier sometimes getting a new one and it can prevent problem signs sometimes they can present damage on the teeth so now knowing then the crankshaft is here i will remove it from here and i will make it ready to install everything i got the new crankshaft ready for installation i have the gear over here so all i have to do is to install this gear so this standout nipple over here gotta go right here so all i have to do is to align it and uh, install it you don't need any special tool it will go easy like this you can see and it is in as you can see you can use a rubber hammer just to hit it a little bit so it can go all the way to make sure that it's in the correct position so now we can see them they all are aligned so in this position the crankshaft is ready for installation all i have to do is to grab a rack and clean all this the uh, main bearings um, so of the crankshaft i want to grab something to clean them and i'm gonna open this and i'm going to remove all the old bearings i'm going to remove all the seven bearings then are on the block now with a clean rack i'm going to clean all the surface of each of them and then i'm gonna get a blower to blow everything around like pieces like this so i'm gonna remove everything like that i'm gonna take all the stuff out to prevent problems after i put everything together now the surface is clean as you can see the next step is to install the new bearings which i have here i have them by number because i want to use the same bearing to put on the same cap on the same uh, part of the engine block so it's going to be the number four for this one for the engine block and for the cap it's going to be the same so that's the only reason why i mark them by numbers so i'm going to open this and this one the bearing with the groove is the one that goes to the engine block because we have the ori uh, or the origin for the lubrication right there so it's gonna be this one so remember the number one is right here one two three four so this one's gonna be the four because that at the end is the number seven so i'm gonna install this one here but freeze i'm gonna blow some air to remove any pieces of uh or any material that could be stuck somewhere on the bearing and now I'm going to install it pretty easy. All we have to do is to align this little groove over here. This is the one that retains the bearing in this position. It goes like this here with this groove over here. I'm gonna align it there like this. 
and then I'm gonna press from here and it's completely on place so now I'm gonna repeat the same process with the other six left all right all the bearings are in position as you can see so now I'm just gonna inspect double check then there is nothing in between here like because it's gonna be in between the uh, crankshaft and the bearing so make sure to check again because this is very important um, now I'm going to use a rack to clean this and maybe some brake cleaner to remove anything but before doing that I'm going to apply some grease over the soil first or you can do it at the same time you're doing it so it doesn't matter so I'm gonna clean it right now and then after cleaning it I'm gonna apply grease like white grease on the surface in this case I, I am using this type of grease this is the type of grease I'm using so I wanna do that to the bearings over there and I wanna clean the crankshaft to install alright there is grease on all the bearings and the crankshaft is clean at least the surface area that is gonna be in contact with the bearings is clean so now I am going to install the crankshaft in the engine block so now it is like a line so I'm gonna lower it liter by liter until it sits like this as you can see is completely on position where it should be completely aligned completely seated on the bearings and they are on position make sure that they know on the bearings are out of the way if they are you have to fix their position otherwise something can happen also the gears gotta be aligned as you can see in this one and this one so now i'm gonna remove all this to start putting the caps the main bearing caps but before installing the caps the main bearing caps i have to install these the thrust bearings these are the ones then retain the crankshaft to go to the back or to the front depending how it's needed um so i'm gonna grab one of these i'm gonna put some grease and the groups see these little groups over here they're gonna go on the friction area so it's gonna be like this this one goes right here like this i need to open it a little bit <clears throat> well i want to put it on the other side science is i want to put it right here all right remember the groups goes facing the friction material which is the crankshaft and now this other one it got the same grooves as you can see you can see them better without the grease I want to put it on the opposite direction which is going to be in this direction the other one I put it in this direction so this one is going to be in this direction so I'm going to install it both of the thrust bearings are on place as you can see they're on the right position so now I'm going to grab the cap this is going to be the cap number six with the thrust bearings so I'm going to install the bearing pretty easy I'm going to search for the number six this one right here see I'm gonna inspect it gonna blow some air to prevent any problems now I'm going to install it the same way I did with the other ones see this little groove over here you gotta go right here and then I'm going to press it see uh, 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 like this okay like this and then press it and it is in you can see smooth so now I'm gonna get the thrust bearings which are these ones over here and I'm going to sell it like this one on this direction and the other one in the opposite direction as you can see because the groove again goes to the friction surface which is the crankshaft so now I'm going to apply grease in the three bearings we have grease on the three bearings as we can see so that means then this cap is ready for installation it's easy to install this cap so I got this stand out little uh, guys over here they go over here and over here so all I have to do is to flip it over and install it um, let me see if I can do it with my hand like this as you can see you gotta go with the guys in this direction and insert this like this so the two 
bearings on both sides are on position and then just press it down until it sits so you can see it's completely seated on the block on both sides so it is completely on place so now I'm going to repeat the same process with the other six but in this case it's easy because I don't have any other truss bearings it's gonna be just number six for the truss bearings so I'm gonna do the, that I'm gonna do that with the other ones but I forgot to mention then you have to clean the cap before doing this process that will prevent problems as well just make sure then everything you install is clean 100% clean so um, I'm gonna do the process with the other six left